Hello everyone. The topic is sutureless glueless pterygium surgery, the autologous blood method. I have no financial interest in this presentation. Pterygium is a common condition in India, especially in people who work mostly outdoors and are routinely exposed to dust and light. The surgery for pterygium excision is usually performed by using conjunctival autograft. The most common methods for fixing the graft to the spiral bed include fibrin glue and sutures. But fibrin glue costs are prohibitive for a single case, especially in developing countries, and sutures can cause lot of pricking and irritation to the patient in the post-operative period. So here I am presenting a method of graft fixation wherein I have used autologous blood to achieve graft addition to the spiral bed. First, the pterygium is excised. Its base is divided using a crescent knife. We see that pterygium is a subconjunctival condition. Hence, the tissue below the conjunctiva, that is the pterygium tissue, is removed and cut off. Here I have used two forceps to separate the subconjunctival tissue from the conjunctiva. Now using the algae brush burr, we polish the cornea and scleral bed. The polishing is done so as to remove the remnants of pterygium from the scleral bud near the limbus and the corneal surface and making the cornea smooth thus reducing the post operative irritation to the patient as well as give a good healing. Now the conjunctiva around is pulled in to see if any irregular margins are there. The subconjunctival tissue is excised properly again and now the graft is prepared. The graft size should be approximately 0.1 millimeter larger than the pterygium size which we have cut out. This is done to ensure that some part of the graft all around is tucked in below the surrounding conjunctiva. This reduces the chances of graft dislocation in the post-operative period. The graft is carefully removed. I usually take the graft from the temporal side. This ensures that the superior part of the conjunctiva is left alone for the procedures like MSICS, fake humusification and trabeculectomy. Now, while putting the graft in place, we have to ensure that the limbal side of the graft, which contains limbal stem cells, is always placed on the limbal side of the location in which the graft is placed on below the pterygium. This is important, otherwise the whole purpose of putting this graft will be defeated. Now, tucking the graft margins below the conjunctiva, as I said before. and the surgery is done. The autologous blood here will make sure that the graft fixes and we have to leave this place for 10 minutes so that it is fixed properly before closing the case. Coming back to the next case, here the same procedure is performed. The pterygium is excised properly, base is divided using a crescent knife. Here. The crescent knife is properly used to divide the base as well as remove any remnant pterygium elements from the cornea. Some dense pterygium tissue is adherent to the cornea, hence I am using a scissor to cut that off.
removing the excess conjunctival tissue so as to make way for putting a graft. Removing the subconjunctival pterygium tissue. This reduces the chances of recurrence by cutting out that subconjunctival pterygium tissue. Now, a proper size graft is selected and cut out. The bed and surrounding area is dried. Now the graft is shifted upon the bed. And tucked below the conjunctival margins. Now the graft is left here undisturbed for another 10 minutes to get it fixated properly to the base using the autologous blood. Thus, autologous blood method for graft fixation in pterygium is a very safe, reliable and easy to learn technique with excellent results and is cost effective as well as painless for the patient in the post-operative period. Thank you.